today we have an exciting day. We're down here at Wildflower Ranch in um, South Boulder County. And we're unloading the Kifco Ag Reel. It's the T41 1446. Uh, this is a big machine. Uh, it's a giant water gun that's going to irrigate uh, all these hay fields here at this large uh, horse estate. And we're going to be doing some really cool things with it later on uh, involving compost tea and injecting it in the lines. But, but for now, we're just unloading it, which is a bit of a process. Uh, it came on this low boy trailer here. We're going to look at um, the hydraulic features of this machine. We're going to put wheels on it here in a few minutes. Uh, we're going to pull the rest of the components off and uh, we're going to bring a tractor up in a few minutes and bring it off this trailer. Because of the size of this thing, we have to take the, the wheels off to ship it. Um, it makes the overall machine too large. So well, what Chris is doing here is, is just prepping it to, uh, to place these wheels on. As soon as we get a tractor hooked up to this, the hydraulic components will function and we'll be able to lift uh, this, this wheel piece up enough to get a tire on and then we'll mount that. We'll do that on the other side and then we'll be able to uh, lift the whole machine up and sit it on its wheels. Now these are the basic components of any uh, tractor. Um, you have your three-point hitch um, that connects to, uh, it's, it's a good way to secure different machinery to the tractor. This is your uh, PTO drive, so there's tons of machinery out there that will run off of a PTO. Uh, it's just a, a basically a, a turning bar there. A regular trailer hitch, and then all of your hydraulic components. So these are uh, built-in hydraulic controls that can power all kinds of machinery including all the lifts on this. So we're connecting these hydraulic plugs uh, to the hydraulic uh, receivers here on the tractor wall. In order to uh, put these tires on, we need to raise and lower these. They come independently. Josh is just setting the, uh, the weight down there on that far tire. Um, you just move up and down and control uh, this, this wheel, uh, lifting and raising. And the reason we do that is we can pull this thing out into the field and, and then pull the wheels up and drop the base down so it's actually sitting on this uh, rotational base at the bottom. Um, we'll then hit the hydraulics to drop these spikes in and that'll really secure it into the ground. This is a component that will come with this machine. It's your fill hose. Uh, this is going to connect to your hydrant in the field. So at some point there's going to be uh, a pipe coming out of the field. <laughs> it's gonna have high pressure water flowing behind it. Uh, we're gonna connect one end to that hydrant. And this other piece here is gonna connect uh, to the intake for the whole machine, which is right over there. lifting the whole machine up. So we've got the uh, hose reel off the trailer um, and we're going to take a look at some of the functions and features of it now. This is your hydraulically controlled jack lift so that will help to raise the machine up to meet the trailer hitch of whatever vehicle is pulling it. Um, you have your hydraulic controls that are coming off of the tractor here and are connected to the machine. You have the water intake. This is going to connect to the hydrants out in the field uh, with the fill hose. The water intake comes through here, runs into the reel itself. We've got five levers here. This lever here will rotate the machine uh, 360 degrees. And that way we can turn the machine and angle it uh, towards the part of the field 
that we want to uh, run our line across. And that way we get a nice straight pull at exactly the right angle that we want. Uh, it also gives us the ability to park this in the uh, middle of the field. And because this is a 1476, that means we have 1,476 feet of 4.1 inch hose that we can pull out. We can actually <coughs> connect this to a hydrant, run it 1,400 feet out that way, pull it back over say 18, 20 hours, um, and then rotate the machine without moving it 180 degrees and do the same thing in the other direction. So if your hydrants are located in the middle of the field, you can get a, a very long uh, pull in either direction. Let's take a look at the Comet sprinkler head. This is a Comet Twin Max. And we have a few different nozzles it'll come with. Uh, we can you know, have different flow rates, different wetting patterns, uh, depending on the different nozzles that are used. This is the Comet Twin 202 Ultra Sprinkler Head. That's gonna mount right up here on this gun cart, uh, again with a flange connection, and all those fittings are included in the uh, package. We'll be able to hook that hose reel um, to that hydrant, pull it uh, a quarter mile down this field to that far building, and then the hydraulic pressure of the, of the water will retract that gun cart. We'll have the big machine sitting here. The gun cart will get pulled all the way out. And as the water pressure uh, flows through the machine, it will start to turn that reel. And slowly, over about uh, 20 hours, we'll retract uh, that machine down uh, back and back. The gun cart will be coming closer and closer and it will be coiling up. And then it'll finally get to a point where it stops and the water will turn off and you'll have uh, put down a very even and uh, consistent wetting pattern over this entire field with one pull. This has been the unloading and overview of a T41-1476 Kifco Agriel.